Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 16 of I Heart Fall. I'm gonna leave my playlist linked down below in case you are new to my channel, but these are basically just fall themed videos that I'm gonna be doing throughout the season. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you three delicious sheet pan dinners that are all kind of fall and autumn inspired. If you do enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you go. The first sheet pan dinner we're gonna be making is a maple salmon with a fall harvest sweet potato. All of the exact measurements, ingredients to everything in this video are gonna be linked down below for you guys, so definitely check that out. So we're gonna start off by marinating the salmon, and if you guys watched my meal prep video last week, I shared with you how I like to make a lot of these marinades ahead of time so that when it comes time to preparing dinner, it's super fast. I just grab my pre-made marinade and dinner is ready in 30 minutes. But even if you decide to make the marinade the day of, it's really simple. You're just gonna be using maple syrup, the deeper color, the better, balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, a little bit of orange zest, orange juice, and a clove of garlic zested. So you don't need to go out and buy any like special tools for this, a cheese grater works perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and marinate my salmon while I prep my veggies. So I am gonna be forming a separate little boat for my salmon because I don't want any of those sauces to kind of seep into the rest of the veggies. I'm gonna make sure that I lay the salmon skin side down. This is going to help it absorb all of that marinade and really give it lots of flavor. And meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and wash and peel some sweet potatoes. I ended up using a total of three. I always like using more veggies than I need because I can always save it and use it throughout the week with the rest of my meals. I go ahead and cube my sweet potatoes. I drizzle some avocado oil on them because avocado has a high smoke point. You could also use regular olive oil or coconut oil. And then I'm just seasoning it with salt and pepper. By the way, I get questions about these electric salt and pepper shakers all the time. When you flip these upside down, they actually automatically grind your salt and pepper. They're so cool. So I'm actually giving away a set over on my Instagram, which is just at Miss Liz Hart. I will have the details listed down below. Once the potatoes are nicely seasoned, I go in there with clean hands and I massage it. And then I pop that in a preheated oven. I have the oven at 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake those for 15 minutes. While that's in there baking, I'm getting the rest of my ingredients, which is just goat cheese and pumpkin seeds, and this is gonna go on top of the potatoes. After the 15 minutes are up, the potatoes are gonna be a little bit softer. They're not gonna be fully cooked yet, but this is a time when I take the opportunity to finish seasoning my potatoes with some paprika and garlic powder. The reason I don't add this at the beginning is because garlic powder and just garlic in general tends to burn really easily. This is a time when I go ahead and add my salmon back into the sheet pan and I'm gonna flip the salmon over um, so that the skin is now on the bottom and this is going to help create like a really nice crust on the top of the salmon. I also go ahead and add my pumpkin seeds to the potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back in the oven for another 13 to 15 minutes. It's just gonna depend on how thick your filet is. And then the last three minutes of your cooking time, you're gonna turn it to broil. So this is going to help kind of create that crust for the salmon. And it's also going to create a nice little crust for the potatoes and it's gonna be so good. And the last step is to sprinkle our goat cheese on the potatoes while it's still nice and hot so it gets a little bit melty. And you are pretty much done. You can eat it just like this. I personally like to serve this on top of a bed of greens. Arugula is my go-to, but I think this would also be really good with spinach. And as you guys can see, because we had this little boat for the salmon, there's a lot of that sauce that was saved and you can use that as your dressing and it is so good. Like I could drink this with a spoon, it's that good. Next up is my personal favorite. This is crispy chicken thighs with autumn roasted veggies. We're gonna start off by creating a rub for the chicken. For this, all you need is garlic powder, white pepper, paprika, some sort of seasoning salt, and avocado oil. And 
And now we're gonna go ahead and rub all of that mixture in. Um, you could totally use gloves if you want. I'm just using clean hands. So I'm gonna set that chicken aside and I'm gonna put together the marinade for the veggies. This is a balsamic dressing that has thyme and rosemary. And I highly recommend using fresh herbs if you can. If not, it's okay. I do have measurements for fresh and dry down below. I'm using these tri-colored baby potatoes because I really love the beautiful colors, but you can use any potato that you want. The trick is just to cube them small enough so that all the veggies are the same size and they will cook at the same time. I'm also adding Brussels sprouts, baby carrots, and red bell peppers. Now we're gonna go ahead and cook the veggies with that balsamic dressing. We're gonna give it a nice, generous sprinkle of salt and pepper, and you wanna make sure to toss it really well until every single veggie is coated. So the way that I show you how to cook this in the video, um, the potatoes are gonna be nice and soft, but the carrots are gonna be a little bit on the firm side. If you want these to be a lot softer, then I would recommend putting the veggies in the oven by itself and cooking that for 15 minutes and then adding the chicken. But like I said, I cooked it all at the same time. I placed the chicken thighs directly on top of the veggies. And I also added one chicken breast because my husband prefers chicken breast over chicken thighs. If you do end up doing this, just make sure to take the chicken breast out 20 minutes earlier because it does cook a lot faster. Assuming you don't have the chicken breast in the pan, you're just gonna be letting this cook all the way through for 40 minutes. And this is going to not only cook all of your veggies evenly, but it's also going to fully cook your chicken and it's going to crisp up that chicken skin. You can sprinkle it with a little bit of like sliced almonds, even pecans would be good on this. And there's enough of that balsamic glaze at the bottom that you can kind of scoop it and add it to the chicken. It's just absolutely delicious. I would also recommend sprinkling it with a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese and it's just going to take your dish over the top. This last sheet pan dinner is actually my toddler's favorite. He will devour these turkey balls and they are made with cranberry, feta, and pistachios. And then we're just serving that with a side of zucchini and squash. So I do like to chop up my pistachios very tiny and also my cranberries, but you could actually just use them whole if you wanna save a little bit of time in the kitchen. We're also gonna be using some feta cheese, onions, egg, Italian breadcrumbs, and milk. I go ahead and mix all the ingredients. I season that with a little bit of sea salt, and then I go ahead and add my milk at the very end. I do want the turkey balls to cook at the same time as the veggies, so I'm making them into larger sizes. Now I go ahead and add my zucchini and squash and I also went ahead and added a yellow bell pepper because they're delicious. And I just made a simple dressing with lemon, zested garlic, and olive oil. Very, very simple. Added some salt and pepper, tossed it really well, and then popped that in the oven at 400 degrees for exactly 30 minutes. And then I broiled it for an additional three minutes to give the meatballs a nice crust. This meal you could also eat by itself, but I personally like it with some meal prepped quinoa or even brown rice. But yeah, these meatballs are pretty amazing. They're nice and moist and they're packed with so much flavor. And even though they do have cranberries and them, they are not like super, super sweet. I hope you guys give these sheet pan dinners a try. Again, all of the ingredients are gonna be listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Instagram giveaway. Just head over to at Miss Liz Hart. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.